Hey boys and girls, it's the Bartone. How you doing? I have been promoting the living crap out of Webinar Jam because I'm really excited about what it can do now in the new version of Webinar Jam. So I just wanted to do a quick video demo on how to go live on Facebook using Webinar Jam. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, mostly because if you go live on Facebook Live via Webinar Jam, you bring all the features of Webinar Jam with you. So now on Facebook Live, you can share your screen, have several people on screen, and all kinds of other cool stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to do on Facebook Live. So uh, let's show you how to do that. If you're in Webinar Jam, the new version of Webinar Jam, you go to New Webinar right here. Oops, I have to uh, stop the annotation and go back to the actual clicking. There we go. New webinar. And it's going to ask you whether you want to do an express configuration, which is really quick and simple, or if you want to do the full configuration, which takes about 10 minutes um, quicker once you learn how to do it. And for Facebook Live, we need to do full configuration. By the way, you can also go live to YouTube doing this as well, using the same process. So basically, it's going to set up like any other uh, webinar in Webinar Jam. The big difference is it's going to be going to Facebook Live, and we'll show you how that works. So when you go to the basic configuration, you do your webinar name. Now I'm going to just, I'm doing a webinar with my colleague Sarah on Monday. So I'm going to use this. Um, for that and I'm going to call the webinar video for introverts because that's what we're going to be talking about um, in this quick little thing and I'm just going to say learn about the new video for introverts course coming soon. All right um, now I can put this in the on-demand section which means it'll be listed in webinar jams catalog of webinars so why not we'll do that um what category we'll call it oh uh, let's see now isn't this that sounds good okay we'll come back later and do the image webinar presenters it's gonna be myself and in addition it's gonna be sarah Sin Santa Croce. Um, I'll put her other information in afterwards here. Um, I don't think it'll let me add it unless I have the email and stuff. So I'll just leave that out for now because I want to um, keep the demo fairly simple. So we'll do that later. So in most cases, if you go into Facebook Live, you know, it's probably going to be one presenter, but you can add others. You can also add others when you're in the broadcast on the fly. So that's kind of cool, too. Now, here's the key part here. It says configure the webinar provider. And this is where you choose whether you're going to do a Jamcast, which is their new proprietary, how do you say that, software. Um, they no longer use Google Hangouts. They now have their own system called Jamcast. So that's for a regular webinar. YouTube Live is obviously to broadcast directly to YouTube. And Facebook Live is to stream directly to your Facebook wall for all of your friends and followers. So let's pick Facebook Live because that's the whole point. Now, you will have to connect your Facebook account the first time, but that's not a big deal. You can also check the privacy settings. So you can have it visible to everyone, visible to your Facebook friends, or visible to only you for testing purposes. And you can also decide um, where you want to publish this. Right now, you can only do it on your Facebook wall or on a Facebook page, which is still pretty cool because I could send it to my business page or my Rock of the Pug page. Or I can just say, you know what, I'm just going to put this on my main profile. Um, so that's how I'll do that. And then once we confirm that with the green button, if we confirm this, let's confirm everything, we go to the next step. And from here, the rest of it is pretty much just like the regular webinar jam setup. So you have to um, put in your schedule. You can do it right now on the fly or you can schedule it. Now, again, um, I'm doing a single presentation on Monday, August 28th at 11 a.m. 
oops, we want AM here. And it's gonna be my time zone, which is East Coast. Even though Sarah's in Switzerland, um, I'm doing the webinar and I'm generating it. So it's gonna be Eastern time, my time. I could do a single presentation or a series. Uh, again, Monday, 28th of August, add that. Now you can see session one is scheduled for Monday, August 28th at 11 a.m. And I hit confirm again. I go to the next section, which is registration. Now this is really cool because if, even if you're doing Facebook Live, you can promote it ahead of time by using one of Webinar Jam's many templates. What the heck, hold on a second. All right. Um, so let's see, let's just pick um, the first one. They also have them by, um, by what the conversion rate is. Um, you can also preview the templates if you don't want to judge by just the little one. But I'm not going to put a video or anything on this, this one for Facebook Live, so I'm just going to use this page, this webinar registration page. And once it's all done, um, it'll have both of us in here and all that other stuff. So, oops, we don't want to do that. All right, so we're going to save and exit. So we've picked this registration page. We can confirm that. We can decide if we want to put in phone numbers and stuff like that. I'm just going to have name and email to keep it simple. We can decide whether or not we're going to charge for the webinar or whether it's free. This one's a freebie. Whether or not we want a password protect it. We do not in this case. And then we go to notifications. Notifications is just um, how many emails and or texts you're going to send out. Typically the default is they'll send a welcome message as soon as somebody registers and then they'll send them a couple of reminders an hour before, 15 minutes before, and then a post webinar message to tell them about the replay. Um, so I'm not going to mess with this right now. I'm just going to hit confirm, go to integrations. This is again where you decide uh, if you want to integrate with one of your other uh, software like Aweber, Infusionsoft, MailChimp, etc. I use Infusionsoft, so I'm gonna just leave that there. You can add an affiliate link, and you can also integrate third-party tracking software, which I'm not gonna do because that is too much of a pain for Facebook Live. We're gonna go here. You can customize your thank you page. You can even have a video on the thank you page. So you pick the th thank you page that you want. I'm just gonna go with the general one here and then click confirm. So now they're gonna have a registration page, they're gonna have a thank you page, or they can just join you live on Facebook without doing any of this stuff. But again, I'm trying to show you the whole deal so that you can see all the different things you can do. You can auto subscribe them to future webinars. You can survey your registrants on the thank you page. And I don't need to do that. Again, we're keeping it simple because it's a Facebook Live. And then when the webinar itself slash Facebook Live is ready to go, you'll also have a countdown page, which is great. So that if they go to the link before the broadcast starts, they'll get a countdown timer and a message. Uh, you can put in polls during your webinars. You can put in offers during your webinars, you can put in videos that you can pull in, um, you can do file sharing, all this new stuff. And here's something that's really cool and new in Webinar Jam is you can pre-configure and add an entire slide presentation. So if you want to uh, do a PowerPoint or a presentation uh, during your Facebook Live, you can just configure it here ahead of time. So once you've got all that good stuff, you go to the next button and then you've got your webinar replay page. Um, again, you can decide whether or not you want a replay. We'll say yes and confirm that. And then you can decide, do you want a replica replay? Do you want to redirect to a URL? Do you want to put a separate video in there? I'm going to keep the, the replica replay, which is going to be the exact replay of what we record. You can set an expiration date on the replay. You can allow users to submit questions, even though it's no longer live. People can still email you questions and we'll hit next. And now we're finished. Yay. What's next? Well, what's next is you can either test your webinar or you can get your links. 
so you can see where your links are. Now, when we go back to the dashboard, we're gonna see that this webinar that I set up for Monday the 28th, um, I can either run a test, I can edit it, I can clone it, or I can get my links, and that's what I wanna do. So here's the link that you're going to invite people to the webinar with. So I'm gonna copy that, edit, copy, and I'll show you that in a second. And if you want your own link so that you can go into where you're gonna be going as the host, you'll use this link. I'm just gonna go over here and test the link for a second. See how that works. Then what it's gonna show you now, and make sure I'm sharing the right screen, is the um, registration page, video for introverts. It's Monday, it's three days. I'm gonna put some more details in here later on. And when I click register now, it'll sign you up for that webinar, which is actually a Facebook Live. Now, if I go back to my webinar jam page, make sure I'm sharing the right screen again here, just to show people Chrome. Uh, again, I've got uh, your links to invite people and your own link, which is right here. Now you can email it to yourself or you can go to the live room. I'm gonna uh, go to the live room like I'm testing it. Now again, this webinar is on Monday, so it may not come up yet. But if I connect to Facebook here, cause it's gonna be a Facebook Live, you can do all your little checks before you go. You can start the test. It's gonna show you um, the 1280 by 720. And it's gonna show you all the other um, resolutions. I'm just gonna click yes, cause it doesn't matter. So once you've got everything tested and set to go, you can enter the room, which means you are essentially gonna be going live on Facebook. Now, even though I scheduled this for Monday, if I jump in that room and say, start webinar or start the broadcast, you're on. So uh, even though, like I say, I scheduled it for Monday, I turn on my camera, hello, and my mic, I'm ready to go live. Now, another thing that's cool, if I hit this, I go live on Facebook right now. Um, you can also turn on screen sharing, which is awesome because that way you can share your screen, any screen you want. Um, so if I wanted to show somebody something I was doing in Final Cut Pro, I'd share that screen. See, I'm sharing my screen. Um, and I can shut that off. I can also do my annotations. I've got a whole whiteboard here that I can use to type text and all that other good stuff. So that's kind of cool. So again, this is gonna give you all kinds of additional functionality in Facebook Live that you wouldn't normally have, such as um, several people on screen at once, if you wanna do interviews or panel discussions, screen sharing, uh, whiteboard, and all kinds of other groovy stuff. Obviously, you've got your chat, you've got your videos that you can bring in, you've got your slide presentations that you can bring in. So it's pretty, um, pretty feature rich and really pretty easy to use once you get it set up. So again, if I was to turn on this go live button, I would go live to Facebook right off the bat. So we'll do that just so you can see how it works. Um, and I'll go back in and set this up for Monday because I actually am gonna use it for Monday to do a Facebook Live with Sarah. So we'll see how it works with, on two different continents, essentially. Oops, I put my whiteboard up there, I don't want that. I want my camera and my mic. So there we are, we're live on Facebook. This is just a test, guys, so don't go crazy. Um, I'm actually gonna unlive myself now just so that I don't have to uh, do any Facebook Live and we don't have any people coming in. So that's it. Again, you can see I was live for a whopping 23 seconds. You can see how many people are in the room when they're in there. You can type messages in the chat on the right. You can get rid of that if you want. Um, shut the camera off, shut the mic off, because we're gonna leave that right now. And again, you can bring in PowerPoint presentations just by selecting one, create a new presentation. You can bring in videos 
from YouTube or, or from your hard drive. You can get the chat going. So you're getting all the uh, bells and whistles that you'd normally get in Webinar Jam, but you're using it on Facebook Live. So it's pretty cool. You can do a lot more stuff um, on Facebook Live. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email and um, you can see how you can use Webinar Jam to go live on Facebook and make your Facebook Lives a lot more compelling because you'll have the annotation button, you'll have the screen share, you'll have the ability to bring in other people live on the fly. All you have to do is enter their email address and they can join you on screen. You can have up to six people on screen. So all pretty cool, great new software. Uh, I'm a fan, it's working great. I've tested it. And if you wanna go live on Facebook, and have all kinds of extra features, check out Webinar Jam. I'll put my link in the comments. That's it, bye for now.